Brandon, you see Lopez get ahead of the first two hitters, I think 0-2, and they both reach. How much does that start to kind of dictate what kind of night he's going to have? Well, he's been so good early in the game, really all year. And, uh, yeah, losing LeMahieu there, and uh, it just didn't have his command in the first inning. And you know, they jumped all over him, um, you know, scoring five in the first couple of inches because his command wasn't, hasn't been the same as it had been. Uh, I hung a slider there to avoid that hurt. Uh, but, you know, Lopi's been working ahead of hitters and, and finishing them uh, first half of the game and, and uh, just couldn't do that the first couple of innings tonight. Rich Dubroff, go ahead. Uh, Brandon, who is your starter for tomorrow? Um, we are still thinking about it. I'm thinking about it right now. Well, probably going to be a bullpen. It might be a, a, I might do an opener. Um, we'll figure it out. Nathan Ruiz, go ahead. Brandon, given that, how big was Keegan Aiken for you tonight? You seem to Huge. I really, really, I'm disappointed that those three runs scored there in that inning because it doesn't dictate, doesn't tell the story of how well he threw. That was really uh, encouraged uh, watching him with the, how aggressive he was, you know, attacking a good lineup, using multiple pitches, really keeping the ball off the barrel, working, working ahead and throwing a ton of strikes. Pitch count was down. Um, so that was extremely encouraging watching him throw. Joe Trezak, go ahead. Brandon, now you've seen Keegan both, in, both as a starter and, and pitch really well in, in, in relief like tonight. Do you think there's a particular role that suits him best or that he looks more comfortable in? Well, he's still really early. I mean, he's only had a, a few weeks in the big leagues. So we, we still believe in a starter profile. We're still going to stretch him out as a starter. Um, he uh, gave us some, some long relief here in this, in this stretch. Um, it was nice to see him out there today, going, you know, almost finishing four innings after pitching uh, an inning two, uh, three days ago. So, um, uh, I was just really impressed with how he threw the ball tonight. Dan Connolly, go ahead. Brandon, even with the possibility of an opener, do you anticipate that uh, you'll be making a movie either tonight or tomorrow morning for relief help? I think so, yeah. Melanie Newman, go ahead. Um, Brandon, just two different types of losses, but you've been talking about keeping that positive net around these younger guys when they're playing in a really tough AL East. Where do you find that balance of keeping that positivity, but also coming in with that tough truth? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's where our, our schedule is difficult and uh, this type of schedule only makes you better and you're going to deal with some adversity. And, uh, you know, we have some guys going through that right now, especially on the offensive side. And, um, you know, the number, offensive numbers are, are down around the league. We have, we have some guys struggling offensively. And, um, you know, it's part of the game is to deal with it, make some adjustments. And, and we have, you know, um, our, our pregame work is great. I think our clubhouse is good. Uh, we're staying positive. But um, it's, you know, it's discouraging to lose the games we've lost this last week. 